Let's check out four different properties at four different price points around the Orange County coast. Hey YouTube, it's Andrew Parker, your real estate agent from the number one Cobalt Banker office in the entire country. As a reminder, if you or anyone you know is looking to buy or sell around Orange County, feel free to give me a call, I'd be happy to help. All right, let's get into today's video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that about a month ago, I was able to tour some really incredible properties around the Newport Beach and Corona Del Mar areas. These properties I got to check out during a broker preview. Broker preview is basically like an open house, but it's supposed to be just agents. So before the public sees the property, we get to find out what's about to hit the market and let all of our clients know. The agents at these properties allowed me to shoot some video and upload it into my socials. So on Instagram, those videos were posted as Instagram reels. Unfortunately, those can only be like 30 seconds long, so it doesn't really show you too much or tell you too much about the property. I figured it could be cool to bring those property tours onto YouTube where it lives as a little bit longer of a format. I also thought it could be a cool idea to do property tours in the future where it's three different properties at three different price points in certain cities around Orange County. Now, this video in particular is four different properties at four different price points and they are all luxury properties. Now, I don't think I'm gonna do that in the future because I'd like to show a wider array of budgets um, so that we can just really see what types of homes different budgets will get us in a certain city. The reason why this video is four properties instead of three is because during one of the tours, I actually found out that the builder of that home built the home right next door. So I was able to check out two properties at the same time and it was cool to kind of see the similarities and differences between the two. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's a concept that could be pretty cool moving forward where we just check out a bunch of different cities around Orange County and see what price points can get us in different areas. So if you like that concept, let me know in the comments section below, or if you have city ideas to go check out first, feel free to let me know down there as well. Otherwise, let's jump in. All right, so we're gonna be starting off with 3506 Catamaran Drive. This is a Corona Del Mar property in the Harborview Hills area. This home just recently sold for $3.85 million, so a pretty substantial sale. It's got an awesome backyard. I love the pool. There's a hot tub as well. It's a huge entertaining space. And finding that in Corona Del Mar can be a little bit difficult if you're not up on Spyglass. Um, this home has a very awesome open floor plan and it really caters towards the entertainers. It's a four bed, two and a half bath, 2,346 square feet. It's a three car garage. It's only one level, so it's easy for people to live in a long time. Sometimes if you get older, you don't wanna be climbing upstairs. This home will last a while for you. It is a single family home residence, um, and it was built in 1969. But obviously, as you can tell, there's been a bunch of updates to more modernize it. Uh, and the agent was Lori Leggio. She was a very, very nice woman. Uh, super sweet, gave me a lot of details about the property. And she, she was with Berkshire Hathaway Home Service. So congrats to Lori, she just sold this property. I love this bathroom so much because it's a mixture of kind of a vintage feel, but also modern aesthetic. Those little window pane things, I really don't know what those are called, but I've seen those so many times in like diners, like old school diners. Uh, my girlfriend Lauren let me know that that is a Z Gallery mirror, which I guess costs a ton of money. Hopefully it came with the house. But overall, I really loved the staging, which actually I think this is the furniture of the real owner. So they have great taste. Really love this property. It was super special to see. All right, so our next property is 356 Dahlia Place. This is in Corona Del Mar. It was a $4.6 million listing. I believe it's still active at the moment. It's a three bed, five bath, 2,790 square foot home with a garage for two cars. And I believe it was four levels if you include the downstairs, which is kind of like an enclosed, but still open aired patio area. It's a loggia. So super special home. It was a townhouse built in 2021. This is actually the first of the two neighboring properties that I spoke about earlier. So the builder built this home and the one that is right next to it. Actually, they're, they're both attached. So the two agents on this project were Omid Yusofi and Milad Farotin. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing those, but congrats to them because these are two special, special properties. And they were with Titan Pacific Group. 
So as you can see, it's very difficult to build some of these homes in Corona Del Mar, especially in the village because the lots are so skinny. And additionally, this one is built into the side of a hill. So it's not easy to do to say the least, but they did a really, really great job. It's a beautiful open area, aired basement, which I love. I think that's so awesome to hang out there. Quite the man cave and entertaining area with the pool table and the whiskey bar behind it. So a really, really special property. Now our third property is gonna be that neighbor. So this is 358 Dahlia Place instead of 356. This home is listed for $200,000 more. So it's $4.8 million. We started off with the basement here, as you can tell, it's a little bit more open. I'm not sure if that's exactly because there is more square footage or if it's just because they don't have that pool table down there, but still a very special home. Three bed, five bath, and this one is just a little bit bigger than the last with 3,130 square feet. It is a two car, has a two car garage and it's four levels. I love this kitchen. I think it was super awesome. They've got like a wet bar in the back corner there as you can see. And then it looks like they've maybe got either two microwaves or one microwave and a toaster oven as well as an espresso machine built into the wall. So very beautiful kitchen. I think it would be an awesome spot to cook in um, and entertain guests in as well. This is also a townhouse built in 2021, so brand new. And the agents, once again, were Omid Yusofi and Milad Furutin. So they're with Titan Pacific Group, congrats to them. This is a very special home, and the, the builder who was actually present during my tour uh, was wondering which one was my favorite. I told him that this one was particularly my favorite because I love that kitchen. I think it's a really beautiful place. Um, I also love this view. If you see back in the corner there, you can see Fashion Island. Um, and actually I work back there. So one of my offices might be uh, in camera frame right now, but I just wish what would be perfect for me is if I threw in a pool table and a whiskey lounge down in that basement. That would be the one thing that I would change. But other than that, this is a beautiful, beautiful home and buying something like those when you're spending $4.8 million on a home, probably a little bit of a no brainer. You also can see uh, the back side of the bay right here. So this is the Newport Harbor area. So a little bit of an ocean view. Our final home is 39 Sky Ridge in the Newport Coast. This home is in the Pelican Crest community. It is listed at $15,995,000. Insane. I believe that this home just entered into escrow if I'm not mistaken. So if so, congratulations to the two agents, Evan Corkett and Steve High from Villa Real Estate. Obviously a huge sale for them at $16 million. This is a six bed, nine bath home with 10,770 square feet. It's got an 11 car garage, three stories, and then it is a single family residence built in 2000. So it is relatively new. You've got a nice poker room. I know me and my friends would love that. So super nice there, a chandelier entrance to your bedroom, which I can't say the same for myself right now quite the sight and then obviously you've got a 16 million dollar view off of the bedroom just imagine i mean just imagine bringing a coffee out there kicking your feet up on the railing and overlooking the newport coast huntington beach area you can also see all the way out to catalina the sunsets there are probably incredible the bathroom has sinks on either side i didn't get a good angle of that so shame on me and then i also didn't get a good angle on the sauna there is a sauna in this bathroom so that's super nice. I mean, that kind of sells the home right there. You also have a waiting room in your second, uh, your second story for any of the friends that you don't really want to hang out with that can kind of just sit up there or you can transition that into an office. Beautiful formal living room. I mean, this home was just big <laughs> in, in all cases. It was just massive. And obviously you've got a movie theater as well. So quite the home, quite the property. Congrats to the agents. All right, that's been four properties at four different price points. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this concept. I think it could be a pretty cool one where we go and check out a bunch of different cities around Orange County. So let me know your thoughts and also if you have any city preferences for me to start. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton. Also, be sure to follow Andrew Parker Realty on all social media for more property tours, market updates, and real estate tips. Additionally, I'll be adding sneak peeks of these properties that'll be featured in these videos to my Instagram Reels, so be sure to check that out. And then finally, if you have any questions or comments of your own, be sure to leave them in the comment section below or shoot me a DM. 
I'd be happy to respond or make videos answering the questions that you guys have. All right, I'll see you in the next one.